by if you're if you're if, by if you have a strong offense, then it's eventually gonna. What am I going, dude? I'm gonna have to cut this off because now I'm like losing my mind. I was, if I could, if I could just get you guys to subscribe. That sounds dumb, but fine. That would be awesome because <laughs> I really hate my day job. Also, if someone could tell my wife to turn up the heat, I have something super exciting to show you. I'm just kidding. That was one of my wife's paintings. Don't tell her I showed you it though, because she might get a little mad. But check this out. Look at this deck. This is gonna be so cool. Oh my god, I'm so excited. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. <laughs> Follow me downstairs. Look at this. Boys, boys, I've been doing work down here. I've been doing, look at this. Look. Coach Nick, look at this. Look at this. Oh, would you look at that? I've been, I've been putting in work, you guys. Now, some of you might be saying right now, why the hell am I showing you this? You know, why would, why would you even remotely care about the work that I'm doing down here? Well, I'll tell you why. Check this out. Let me show you, let me show you the spot, okay? This right here, yeah, this little cubby, fancy name for it is an alcove. This little alcove right here in my house is gonna be the place where I set up the infamous green screen. Can you imagine, just imagine like a green screen right here, okay? It's gonna, you know, it's gonna drop down right here. I'll be sitting right here. I'm gonna have my little green screen set up because we all know, right? The difference between a very good reaction video and a mediocre, you gotta have that green screen. You don't have that green screen, it's, you know, it's just kind of a crappy, like, at home kind of feeling reaction video. We gotta have that green screen. So yeah, I've been putting in some work. Oh God, I hate remodeling, I really do, dude. It's like, it's like one thing leads to another, sweet mother of God, but we're getting there, boys, we're getting there. Boom, look at this. Check, check these mirrors out, holy sweet mother. We could set up some, we could set up some nice floor in here and we could work on our, uh, our moves right here if we want to, you know, do our spin moves, stuff like that. Let me show you, let me show you how ugly, I wanna show you what a true ugly basement looked like before I started tearing stuff down, had all this, I don't know if we can see, but look. Oh, this gross ass faux panel. Look at this stuff. This stuff is disgusting. Who puts this stuff up? It's like this fake wood. It's super cheap. Let's see if I can. Super cheap, man. It's like El Cheapo. It's got styrofoam behind it. All sorts of weird stuff. So, good morning. I wanted to give you guys an update on my channel. And don't worry, if you're like me and you're someone who doesn't really care about updates, you just want to see the reaction video. I'm going to timestamp this. So, if you want to just go straight to the reaction video you can, but I wanted to be fair to some people who've been maybe subscribers to my channel for a long time and just let you know where my channel is, is headed because a long time ago I had done videos, tutorial videos, mostly on basketball, and I'm still gonna do those periodically, but I'm gonna throw up just a bunch of different stuff and I'm just like, you know what, I don't really care anymore, I'm just gonna throw up stuff that kind of interests me, so that'll be like reaction videos, creative videos, stuff that just kind of piques my interest when it comes to basketball. And shit, now I forgot why I was making this video. There was something I really had to tell you guys and now I forgot what the heck it was. Oh, right. So something else I want to do is I eventually am going to be posting one-on-one -on -one videos, me playing people in one-on-one. -on -one. It's just going to take me a while because <laughs> one, I found out I'm in just incredibly horrible shape. My shoulders are getting... I haven't really so shot hoops for six months. And then even then I hadn't really shot hoops probably since I was I don't know, 18, 19, 20, 21 years old. I mean, it's been ages since I've really honed my game. So I'm getting back in the gym. The gym I was shooting at was a college gym and it was kind of cool because I could go there at 6 a.m., get about two hours of workout in. No one was at the court. I didn't have to worry about people being at the court, like taking up hoop time or anything like that. And I had the whole court to myself. And now because of this whole stupid COVID thing, they've shut that down. So there hasn't really been a place for me to practice. Thankfully, my local YMCA opened up. The issue with my YMCA is that there's not really any legit competition there. There's some fun high schoolers there who I think I will eventually play. And those will probably be my first one-on-one -on -one videos. So I really want to do the one-on-one -on -one thing because I think I play pretty damn good defense, even for an old man. Like I play defense differently. Hey guys, it's Coach Nick. <laughs> If you find out what is wrong with me, can you fix me? I think that's going to kind of give me a competitive edge when it comes to the whole one-on-one -on -one world because I really want to talk about defense. I love defense. Defense is a huge thing for me. I'd rather score like six points in a game but stop their top defender from scoring 30 points, keep him maybe at like five or ten points, then I would score a bunch of points myself. That's just the kind of person I am. I just love defense. So um, I'm going to eventually make a video on on me paying people if they can score on me. That's gonna probably be like my first one-on-one -on -one video and that'll probably be versus high school students. I just have to figure out how all that works. 
And then eventually, when this whole COVID thing dies down, I'm gonna be playing one-on-one -on -one versus um, college players, probably like some D2 hoopers, and then just just my local college athletes. There's um, some pretty good some pretty good players up at this Rex or up at the college that I played before. And then about a year and a half ago, I played a D2 point guard and just got smoked in one-on-one. Like it was, dude. I'm telling you guys, I, for every one point that I scored. This dude scored four points and he was so shifty. He reminds me of Devin Williams, like a Devin Williams point guard. He was 5'9", I think 170 pounds, very muscular, but quick as shit. We did three dribbles and unlimited dribbles. I couldn't guard him. Like I would just have to guess where he was going. But to be fair, I was out of shape. And one thing I really realized was my God, when you're out of shape, your legs go. Like my, even on defense, my quads were quivering. I've never felt my legs shake like that on defense. And I played them like I played everybody else before. But I was like, dude, I'm just wickedly out of shape. So I really need to get back into shape. And then I think it would have been a much more competitive game because something else I realized is that if, say you're playing a one-on-one -on -one game, and this is true for even five on five, if you are not making the defender work, they are not working, so it's easier for them to make buckets, right? So like, I kept bricking my shots. My jump shot was off. I wasn't that shifty. I did, dude, my game, my game was so bad. But I realized that because I didn't make him work on defense, he wasn't tired at all on offense, and so his shots are gonna fall in more. I'm just making sure I'm not running out of uh, recording time, but his shots are gonna fall in more than they otherwise would have if he had to work on defense. So it's like one of those weird things we don't necessarily think about sometimes, but my point is is that I was too worried about my camera losing. I don't know, I was too worried about losing this footage, and so now I've lost my train of thought. So yeah, that's where my channel is eventually headed. I'm still gonna do a lot of reaction videos. I'm gonna upload much more consistently, and then kind of in between these reaction videos, I'm gonna do more of my creative videos, because I really enjoy those. They just take a ton of freaking time. So, so yeah, you guys, that's where we're headed, and uh, I think it's gonna be an interesting ride. All right, Austin versus Royce. Yeah, I don't know who Royce is. Damn, fool's huge. Six four. All right, well, maybe he's the best defender, but certainly he's not playing defense. Uh, then he seems like just chill right now. All right, Austin scored though. He's maybe maybe he's thinking I'm testing him. All right, two buckets. Here's the thing, guys. After somebody scores two buckets, that's when you got to get up, right? We'll give them two buckets, but after they hit two buckets. Man, I need to do a Tristan Jazz. We're going to do a Tristan Jazz reaction because I have some more to talk about. This. After somebody hits two buckets, all right, we're going to play. So now this fool's probably going to play some defense. He's, he's got to be a little pissed. All right, he's a little closer now. All right, that's pretty good D. Decent D. I wish... Um, so, that was a good shot. Austin doesn't, doesn't mic up. I wish he did. Damn. Good shot. This guy's just like just chilling, man. Think about Austin's defense. All right. How do we not have sound on this? This is so weird. They must have. The sound must have just. Maybe he does have a mic in it. Obviously, he got messed up. All right. So I'm just gonna. I mean, come on. I, I, maybe the dude's not playing defense, but no hands are up, right? Like, I I just feel like he's not treating Austin that serious. So who knows? Maybe we're not going to talk defense because this guy's just not trying. So maybe that maybe we are going to talk defense because sometimes probably like 80% of defense is just putting forth an effort. You guys ever saw my Julian Newman de uh, video on defense? You'll know what I'm talking about. All right. Looks like he's going to pass it. Yep, he passed it. All right. Okay, there's this guy. He's going to catch it. Yeah, he'll, he'll probably come right down the middle here. I think, you know what? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to cut him off. I'm going to take a charge. No, never mind. I'm just gonna let me just back up here a little bit. There we go. Just... All right, now we got sound. Cool. That's cool. Damn. That little punch step back. I'm, I'm working on it. That's actually a pretty hard shot. I'm not gonna lie. A little punch step back. It's, it's a weird shot. It's got a weird feel to it. This guy's shifty. Ooh, he, he fell for it. Nice. Full 6 4. I mean, the intensity of this game. 
Let's be real. These guys are going probably at like... That was a little harder, but I feel like they're going kind of 70% a little bit. Maybe it'll pick up. I usually feel like 1v1 always starts off like that. Like, most guys don't go super hard at the beginning, and then it starts to get a little more competitive at the end. I'm going to turn down our volume just a little bit. It's kind of blasting my hair. Good shot. Like that little footwork there. He switches up his footwork after the dribble. Alright. I like this. I like... All right, I'm gonna be a little nitpicky. So like, I'm gonna slow this down a little bit. So Austin, I like I like Austin's stance here, right? Because the dude's left foot is his pivot foot, so his drive is on his is to his his right. That's where his strong drive is. Now as he like back pivots here, I also like how Austin kind of moves with him, right? But then I don't really know why he switched his defensive stance. In my opinion. His left leg should be up here. He should be kind of crowding him here and then trying to mirror. And then what will happen when he crowds is this guy's going to pivot. He's going to pivot and he's going to bring the ball over his head and he should still mirror him. So I don't know what Austin was thinking here. Like I, I, this to me, that's a, that's a bad move. And not that this Austin, I'm sure I would, if, if you were to choose between me and Austin on your team, I would pick Austin 100% of the time. I'm just saying defensively, he should be up on this fool. This guy's already proven that he has a three-point shot, right? He should be crowding him. He should make him feel uncomfortable. And he's not feeling uncomfortable. This guy's just chilling, man. He's chilling. He's enjoying it. He's enjoying his time. I don't like when an offensive player can enjoy their time. I feel like you got to play up and I'll make him feel, uh, make him feel uncomfortable. <laughs> Austin, what is Austin doing with this stance? All right, so he is playing dynamically. Austin's playing dynamically here. It's just a little, uh, it was just a little weird. I don't. I, I wonder what's going through Austin's head on defense. I'm so tired. He's tired. These guys, and it looked like these guys had played before, like they were playing some. So these guys are both tired as hell. So maybe that's why we're not seeing a, a ton of intensity. Maybe that's why this game's kind of low key. Man, Austin's got such a nice shot. You gotta appreciate Austin, Austin's personality too. If you guys haven't seen his vids, man, like go out and check out Austin's vids, dude. He has. He has just a genuine, nice personality, like just a, a wholesome person. Okay, do we see it? What up, guys? Welcome back to the channel. So we're going to go king of the court. I don't think I can say that about myself. I wish I could, but man, it's like if the world were filled with Austin's, he's the type of guy that I feel like we would just have world peace instantly. But look at this. All right, he's doing it, man. He's switching up his stance. I like it. He's giving him the offense of the guy different looks. That's a hard move. Or scored a point. That's a hard Royce move. played like how many games? Like six. He played nine straight games, and I only played two. Jesus. Okay, so Royce is tired to sell. Well, that's why he's not playing defense. Well, shit. See, you never you, unless you know the backstory, it's it's impossible to know, man. As you can tell, Royce is just like, dude. It's just in his stance. He's like definitely. <laughs> he's definitely tired. Nice move, Austin. Damn. Austin's like, and that's the best time to play someone one-on-one -on -one when they're tired. I can beat this NBA player. He's tired. Austin, Austin's strategic, man. He's strategic. Put your left hand up, Austin. Put your left hand up. Yo, can we check that move out real quick so we can get the footwork? Okay. All right. All right. Got it. Nice. That's that little, that's that little cross you do where then you can kind of do the running man's move. Nice shot. Damn, Austin's got a good shot, dude. Hey, he's going to play crazy D watch right now. He doesn't want to lose. Maybe he's going to play crazy D. We'll see. All right, so it's, they're playing to 11. Let's see if that's true. All right, he's, right? <laughs> he's, not, he's like, I'm going to... Oh, that's a hard shot. Especially at that range. And now Royce is like, you know, I let him get some points, and now Royce is probably going to... So Royce is going to go to his bread and butter, I would presume, right? So let's see what... Cause right, like this is what happens. We go to our bread and butter when we're when we're thinking we're gonna lose. So I'm thinking he's probably gonna drive. Yeah, that's a bread and butter right there. Damn, that's good. We gotta watch that shit in slow mo. Just a nice one, two, and he even comes up right. I thought he was gonna finish left. Man, he had so much room on that move. He finished right. That's incredible. Nice. Slowed up his slowed up his footwork there. Man, that's such a good move. So this is his bread and butter, his drive. Royce knows he can, like really, what is Austin supposed to do to stop it? I 
and Austin's thinking, maybe I'll give him the shot because he's just made. There we go. Good choice, Austin. I want a big thing. I want a big thing. <laughs> All right, Royce is playing. So let's let's talk about Royce for a little bit. He is up on him, right? He's got a little hand on the hip. I don't know if that's a foul or not, but I wouldn't call it. I mean, it's a little bit of a hand check, but he's physical. You gotta you gotta be physical on D. He's not really switching up his stance a whole lot, which I think is peculiar. And he's giving um he's giving Austin the right drive. But I'll say this because he's 6'4 and more athletic than Austin, he probably feels like he probably feels like he can contend Austin's drive if Austin were just to do like a a Devonte Frigga drive to the hoop, a quick one stepper. Ooh, that was shifty. We're watching that again, boys. See how he did it. Was it a travel? A little bit. He pulled a Devin Williams there. A little bit of a travel. But that's the answer. You want to be a little shifty off this move. You got to travel just a little bit. He picked up that left pivot foot just a smidgen. But I don't think that'd get called, especially in the NBA. They're not calling that shit. That was a dope move. A little rocker step. All right, Austin. A little rocker step there. I'll do a replay of that. Austin's really, <laughs> he's really, uh, he's milking that move. All right. <laughs> Yo, do you guys agree with me? I will say this. Um, this move right here. This is actually, it's a simple move, but that that's a hard shot to make. And like my step back is pretty good going to my non-dominant side, but for, for some reason doing that power dribble, I can't do a jump shot off that. I have to do that one motion shot. As one of you said, uh, one I guess it's called a one motion shot. But get him up in the air. One dribble pull. One dribble pull. I feel like that, that that's a hard shot. Let me guys tell me what you think in the comment section if you think that's a hard shot. That little, I don't know what it's called. But don't let him score. Damn. What do you mean and one? I don't think he got fouled. I don't think there's a foul. There was no foul there, Austin. He didn't. Did he hit his elbow, you guys? Let's. We're gonna find out, Austin. We are. We're gonna be frame by frame here. I'm hitting the little period button on my key right now, keyboard, just in case you guys are wondering that does frame by frame. Did you touch him? Maybe there was a little. Maybe there was a little, little fluff and buff right there. Right there. Maybe. I don't know. Royce is like, whatever, bro. I should probably know more about Royce. I don't follow the NBA a whole lot at all. We're gonna... Nice. Yeah, that move is hard, dude. Damn! He makes it seem so effortless, too. But that's that one motion shot somebody was telling me about. And I've been practicing, it is tough. When I've been practicing my one motion shot, I have a hard I have a hard time transitioning between the one motion shot and my jump shot. It's like I can make either or, but then if I try to do one or the other, I have issues. Austin's worried about the drive. Are they, get, are they playing one by two or something? That's nice game. Oh, maybe not. So he's definitely physical. That Royce is. Oh, how did he? Move? How'd that go out? I mean, damn. I mean, Royce is physical. Maybe we're gonna take a look. Maybe at some some of Royce's games. He's like bodying you, and I'm tired. Pressure bus pipes. Hey Tom, this game right here. It's calling game. Is that true? Maybe it is. Pressure's on, Royce. Yeah, that's his bread and butter. I call it, that's his bread. I mean, he knows he can body him up. Like, what the hell? Let's just see, like, what the hell would Austin, what could Austin do differently here, if anything? Switches up his footwork. Hard drive. I mean, he tried to cut him off. I don't know. Dude, I don't know. Let's watch it again. See if there's anything or anything. Because I think Austin, like, Austin had to have known he was going to drive. If he's calling game, he's probably going to drive because we know that's his bread and butter. Whoops. What did I just do? Hit F, I think. I'm just trying to think if there's anything he could have done. I think if he could have maybe cut off this first step, like here we kind of know it's over because Royce has him on his side and Royce is the bigger player. And if the bigger player has a smaller dude on his side, it's pretty much a guaranteed bucket, right? Uh, he probably could have just 
gone hard and made more contact with him. I don't know, dude. I don't know if there's much Austin could have done. Like, the dude's just big, man. I think, I think, it, yeah, if you can't cut him off, you're pretty much screwed. So. <laughs> Impossible. All right, guys, that's a wrap yeah. on the video. And he even said it. Freaking Austin says it's impossible. impossible. I don't know, Austin. I don't know how you're video. supposed to guard that, man. One -on -one. I don't know, bro. Royce O'Neal, one of the best defenders in the NBA, my old college teammate. My old... Oh, it's his... All right, it's his college teammate. That's cool. I don't know anything about these guys. Yo. Except that Austin, like, I'm, followed I'm, up with Dale. I'm so tired. Almost beat him. So you guys can see. That's a real one-on-one -on -one with the NBA player. Almost beat him. He and I used to go at it in college. It's my guy killing this year for the Jazz. Showed you his highlights in here. He's been amazing this year. Make sure you guys tune in for the next video, 4 p.m. Monday. Thank you guys for watching. We're out. Peace.